What's up, Migo fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we have another cool exhibit for you here at the uh, MIB Master Museum. We will be doing a tour of our Aquaman exhibit. Aquaman happens to be one of my favorite superheroes. As a kid, I was not fortunate enough to have him as a Mego figure. So I had to make up for it as I got older. <laughs> but Aquaman wasn't a very popular Mego figure. And I I I being me being a a uh a collector and a huge Aquaman fan. I, I could never not understand that. Why um, Aquaman was not very popular. I thought he was a cool Mego figure. Uh, the problem though is that kids wanted to see a different Mego figure uh, back in the 1970s. Not necessarily Aquaman. But uh, I didn't have Aquaman as a kid growing up. I wish I did. We're looking at our Aquaman versus the Great White Shark playset from Figures Toy Company. An awesome set. Let's be honest. It's just that the shark is super cool. <laughs> and then you get a webbed hand a webbed hand Aquaman on top of that. One of my favorite uh, Amigo sets, play sets. Aquaman was not very popular, but yet he had some of the better play sets. He had, well, I should say, not so much as better, cooler play sets, and definitely sought after. Don't take my word for it, guys. What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section right underneath this video. Do you like Aquaman? Do you feel as though Aquaman has got a bad rap and not, and not given a fair chance or fair shake? Did he deserve to be one of those first four superheroes that was released as Migos back in the 1970s? We want to hear all of that. Leave your comments, guys. We want to hear that. Let's get the chatter started about that. What we do know, however, we're talking about cool play sets and the collectability um, possibilities of the Aquaman Mego figures. Aquaman possessed a lot of that. He had some of the most difficult and hard to find Aquaman Mego figures from the 1970s and early 80s. You're looking at two right here. These are called the Franken Aquaman. And the reason they're called Franken Aquaman, and you're looking at their cards here, is because they were pretty much thrown together. Uh, this was at the end of uh, Mego's uh, tenure. As a company, they were about to go bankrupt. So they had a lot of uh, extra, you know, Mego figures and cards and all these things. And, and they, they wanted to hurry up and move a lot of this product. So one of the ways Mego did it was to just put cards with action figures. Didn't really matter if the card matched the action figure as we're looking here this is a superman card and you got a aquaman figure on the card not only that the aquaman has batman gloves he doesn't even have his standard green gloves oven mitts he's got blue gloves crazy this particular card if you can just see it you can see the Superman logo 
name, they put a piece of yellow tape over that. And these are reproductions from Figures Toy Company, who did a beautiful, a marvelous job on reproducing, painstakingly, stakingly reproducing these figures and cards down to the last item. Beautiful job. So here's a Aquaman that was put on a Superman card and they wanted to hide the fact that it was a Superman card as opposed to this one that they did. So they put a piece of yellow tape over there. So now you didn't, he didn't had no name. <laughs> Absolutely no name. And these are, to this day, the vintage ones that came out in the 1979 if you found them like this, they would be astronomical, price-wise. Extremely hard to get. Very hard to get. And the Aquaman versus the Great White Shark playset. We did a video on this months and months ago. But there was an eBay auction for one that was... This is a C10 Museum example reproduction that we have from Figures Toy Company. But if you could get a vintage one in this shape, there was one on eBay that was not no, nowhere near this shape, condition, and it was going for nearly $8,000. $8, Imagine if it was C10 in excellent condition. It probably would go double or even triple that price. And that's how uh, sought after and desirable uh, this Aquaman versus the Great White Shark playset is. Guys, what do you think of our Aquaman exhibit? Do you have any of these Aquaman? Are you looking for some of these Aquaman? Do you think Aquaman is a cool superhero? Well, the new Justice League of America movie uh, portrayed him as a super cool uh, hero, superhero. Here's a... Uh, our Kretzky card, purple Kretzky card, Aquaman. Very limited. Only a thousand of these were produced, and we have 945. This Aquaman is special to me because it's one of the first figures that I bought from Figures Toy Company. And it was my first Aquaman figure that I bought, purchased from Figures Toy Company. Call me crazy, guys. I just think Aquaman is cool. I, I think the outfit, his outfit, everything is super cool. And the way Migo produced him back in the 1970s, you can see this is awesome. He's got the fans on the back. Now, here's a cool, here's a cool, uh, let's, let's move him to the forefront here. Here is a cool Aquaman. a webbed hand hand aquaman only 300 of these were produced by figures toy company legend has had it that there were there were talks and plans of producing webbed hand aquaman we don't know if that ever happened there was one in a uh in a catalog, you know, decades ago, in an Amigo uh, catalog with a webbed hand Aquaman. And I think that was for the Great White Shark. You can see our Great White Shark Aquaman has the webbed hands. He also has, down in there, he has his green gloves as well. Go over and Yeah, you can see those green gloves. You can put those on him if you want, but there were talks of having a webbed hand Aquaman, and it, that never came to pass, I guess. So, but uh, Figures Toy Company put out um, a two set. Here's the first one: a purple carded, only 300 
limited figure run of this webbed hand Aquaman. He didn't have his green gloves. He just they wanted you to focus in on the on the uh, webbed hands. And let's come over here. Here's our other 300 limited webbed hand. See the web the webbing on the hand in between the fingers. Aquaman. Red card. Aquaman. We have number 134 out of 300. So all of our Aquaman that we've bought, they have some collect, they definitely have a lot of collectability to them. Here's our, our fist fighter Aquaman. I don't believe there was a fist fighting Aquaman back in the 1970s, not to my knowledge. But if you know differently, definitely leave a comment in the comment section right underneath this video. We would love to, to talk about it. I'm glad they should have made a, a fist fighting. Migo should have made a fist fighting Aqu Aquaman back in the 1970s. I don't know why my parents didn't get me Aquaman. Once again, it was Batman, Robin, and Superman. Those were the Migos, the standard Migos that I received as a child growing up in the 1970s. I wish I had Aquaman. And I was a huge Aquaman uh, fan. When the Super Friends were out, he was one of my favorite. But this is a fist fighter, which makes him extremely special. And speaking of Super Friends... Let's bring this guy over to the forefront here. Here's our Super Friends Aquaman, which I think is super cool. We got the new hand sculpts there. They got this Super uh, this uh, Aquaman down to a T, just like his uh, cartoon counterpart. Beautifully done. So when I found out that they they were bringing out a Super Friends Aquaman, I absolutely positively had to to, to purchase this guy and add him to our, our museum collection. I feel as though I'm forgetting somebody. We have so many Migos here at in our museum. I just think I'm forgetting an Aquaman. I'm going to kick myself, especially after making this video. <laughs> I just feel like as though I'm, I'm, I'm leaving somebody out. Guys, we hope you enjoyed checking out our video here today and checking out this exhibit of nothing but all Aquaman. <laughs> we didn't want to leave the Aquaman fans out. Everybody's getting an exhibit now, you know. We've been doing a lot of exhibit videos and tours of the uh, MIB Master Museum, but we never did one on on Aquaman. And we wanted to give him his just due. Because he's one of the original Migos that was produced back in the 1970s. And I just, I just truly, honestly don't believe he gets the, re the respect he truly deserves. That's why I try to get all of my, all of the Aquaman figures I possibly can purchase when they come out. Because uh, that's how cool I think he is. And iconic. And we have 123 of 300 of this uh, webbed hand Aquaman. So we just, we wanted to do this today in honor of Aquaman. To give him 
the respect that he truly deserves. Guys, we've got more fun coming up. More videos on the way. Some, some, some big surprises and some big announcements coming down the road. So stay tuned, guys. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.